Hey, what's up guys? So I wanted to show you two different types of glass in my collection. And these are antique glass vases. The one on the right is most likely opaline glass from France or from Bristol, England. And sometimes it's known as Bristol glass or French opaline glass. Now, only opaline glass can be called opaline glass if it's from France. If it's English, it's Bristol glass. There's no such thing as, as English opaline glass. So it's only French. And uh, opaline glass was made in France um, somewhere between the 1800s to the 1890s. It became popular during the 1850s and 60s during the reign of Napoleon III. And uh, it's opaque glass that's slightly translucent and can appear either white or brightly colored. And it comes in shades of green, blue, pink, black, lavender, and yellow. Now, um, they tried to copy, the French tried to copy um, the Venetian milk glass that was popular during the 16th century and the English white opaque glass that was produced in 18th century Bristol, England. Um, all opaline glass is hand-blown and has a rough or polished pontal on the bottom. There are no seams and no, match, uh, uh, no machine engraving at all. Many pieces of opaline glass are decorated or even gilded. Almost all opaline glass is not branded or signed. Most uh, colored semi-opaque opaline glass made in Britain became known by the generic term Bristol glass, although not all of it was actually made in Bristol. So much Bristol glass was made during the 18th and 19th centuries that it was so inexpensive that it contributed to the end of many glass houses in America. Now, it's very difficult to distinguish, distinguish the English Bristol from the French opaline. Um, it's very hard to tell the difference between the two glasses since they were never marked and there's no marks on most of them. So that's pretty tough. So I don't know if this is Bristol glass or if this is opaline glass. I may never know. If you know, write in the comments below. Now the vase to the left of that is actually the poor man's cameo glass. So this was uh, actually painted with raised enamels and this particular vase is also known as Mary Gregory style and Mary Gregory actually was an American glass decorator and she was born in 1856 and died in 1908. She worked for the Boston and Sandwich Glass Company in Cape Cod, Massachusetts and she worked there from 1880 to 1884. Now she was particularly well known for her stylized white enamel paintings but they were mostly of Victorian era children. And now anything like this with raised like white enamel is called Mary Gregory glass pretty much since after 1920. Now it's usually incorrect, especially since this is of a lady and it looks like a Greek or Roman goddess lady. Usually her paintings were of children. So um, this was uh, most likely um, Bohemian England English or Italian glass. Now, um, most, believe it or not, things that are attributed to Mary Gregory glass are most likely Bohemian or English. So, um, yeah, I, I uh, re really don't know who made it. I probably never will know who made this glass. It's uh, not marked, and neither is the pink opaline glass vase or Bristol glass vase. Again, I, I, I may never know. Now, um, with the opaline or actually French opaline opaque glass. The pontils were always ground out and this one does have a grounded out pontil. You can see it here. Now the inside of the vase is white and um, the pontil on the bottom when they ground it out it shows you the inner center part of the vase so you could see that there. Um, on the back is another painting it's of a flower and we have a beaded decoration going along the rim the, um, actually the collar area and then along the base. So I'm going to just put that down. Sorry the lighting is terrible in my house right now. It's uh, nighttime and uh, it's dark. So now this glass, I'm going to just take this down and put it under the light as much as I can to show you how beautifully iridescent it is. Do you see that? See how that shimmers and change, changes in intensity and color as you shine the light? around it. I'm going to actually shine a light inside and you can see 
and then I'll pull it away and you see how that changes in color. Now I've seen three other vases like this, um, all green, iridescent with a similar cameo and it had this little, what I thought was a blemish on it. Now I believe that this is actually not a blemish and was a maker's mark, a punched in and pressed maker's mark. Now I can't focus in on it. It's very hard to show you, but you can see it's like a raised mark. Now that's some clue of who this maker may be. And I may never know if you know, write in the comments below. Again, on um, the bottom of this glass has a ground out pencil. This was hand blown. I don't know if you could see that, but it's a, a good quality piece of glass. It's a uh, quite well made. Generally Mary, anything with Mary Gregory designs are poorly done. Um, actually not Mary Gregory's designs herself, but the Bohemian ones, the ones that were mass produced in this style were very poorly done. Some of the faces on them look horrible. Like they were very, uh, paint, they were painted very poorly. This is done really, really well. Now I did a video showing you two other similar vases that, um, had flower like tulip pinched in tops. I don't know if you saw that video, but if you didn't go check it out, cause it's very similar to this piece. And I think it was made by the same maker. So I'm so glad I was able to share these two items with you guys. And uh, so once again, thanks for watching. And uh, if you know anything more about these glass pieces than I do, and there's something you want to correct me on, go ahead and correct me. Again, I'm no expert and I'd like to hear your opinions. So long and thanks for watching. Bye now.